Welcome back to A Pearl in Every Cow's Lips Ear. This is CLE's Language Arts 8, Book 3. Okay, Language Arts 8, Lesson 6. I'll start with a little bit of review. Use the word sleep as an infinitive. As an infinitive, it would be what? I like to sleep. To sleep, great. And as a gerund, it will be? Uh, ending with ing. Sleeping. A sleeping beauty. Okay, today's lesson is verbs, active voice and passive voice. Uh, verbs have two different voices. One is if it's active and one of it is if it's passive. In the active voice, the subject is doing the verb. The subject is being active. In the passive voice, the subject is receiving the action. If you're an active person, you're a person that's out and doing things. You're jumping up and down, you're, you're moving, shaking things. If you're a passive person, in this world, there are active and passive people, basically. If you're a passive person, you're just sitting there watching the world go by and letting things happen to you. People kick you around, they shove you down, and you just, you're a passive person. You take it good. It's good to be a passive person sometimes. Sometimes in soccer, it's good to be a passive person. Um, sometimes it's good to be an active person. Um, you have to be both ways. But sentences are the same way, active and passive. Look at this first sentence. The boy kicked the ball. What is the verb? Kick, and what's the subject? Boy. Now, is the boy doing the action, or is the boy receiving the action in the sentence? He is doing it. So this is an active voice sentence. In this sentence, what is the verb? Was picked. And what is the subject? Flower. Now, is the flower doing the action, or is the flower receiving the action in the sentence? Receiving. It's receiving. So this is a passive voice sentence. The flower is passively sitting there, and someone came by and picked it, and it's just not doing anything. Now, can we change this sentence to a passive voice sentence? The boy kicked the ball. How do we change it to a passive voice sentence? The ball was kicked by the boy. Perfect. The ball was kicked by the boy. A flower was picked by my sister. How do we change that to active voice? My sister picked the flower. My sister picked the flower. Excellent. 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 Wow. Good. Seems to me like you know what you're, what you're doing here. Let me read the spelling words to you so that you know how they sound. Induce, tycoon, aluminum, rus, futile, dispute, transmute, cuticle. What is a cuticle? Ah. Something little, and it's, uh, especially those little things, you know, by the edge of your fingernail that rip out and they start feeling really sore. Those are cuticles. Um, kind of a nasty spelling word, but anyway. Truce, tunic, accumulate, Pluto, duplex, Q. And what is a Q? Remember how to spell this word. Q-U-E-U-E. U-E-U-E. But a Q. What a Q is, is a long line of people. So you would stand in a Q to be vaccinated. Uh, and then fluke, a duo, Neptune, rune. Do you know what a rune is? A rune is a special mark made by, maybe I would make a mark, maybe your, your good friend makes a mark on the fence post, and this mark means underneath this fence post there is crickets. I've buried some crickets. But only you and your friend understand what this sign means. It's like a secret message, a rune, something that's kind of stamped onto something. Excuse and impudence. Okay, carry on to work.